All right, this is a demonstration on the bone tool. I uh, just rename this layer Stickman. Um, when you get into using the bone tool, that layer will actually be cleared out. So I'm just drawing a standard stick figure. And at each point, I'm actually just um, making sure that it's clearly defined from the uh, thigh to the shin where the knee joint would be. Uh, and here is my stick figure arms. Same thing, just making sure it's clearly defined from the um, upper portion of the arm to the lower portion of the arm. I'm just going to go ahead and center it. Uh, you don't have to do that, I just did. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab my bone tool. I'm starting at the waist, I'm moving down to the knee. That's my first joint. Just click on that same joint and then drag. So I went from the waist to the knee. Click and drag again from that joint to the ankle to the end of the foot. I'm going from the center. Um, you can add one in the spine to the chest cavity, to the elbow, to the end of the hand. Same thing. Just click and drag. And just make sure your joints are... I'm just going to add one in the neck and then to the head to the base of the head and then to the top and I'm just making sure that each joint is on um, the intersection of the lines I drew I'm going to insert a frame and now it becomes armature two layer and stick man is clear so I just right click there insert pose and I'm grabbing the arrow tool and I'm just gonna go ahead and start manipulating the body to whatever pose you want you can uh, just go ahead and play around with it I just did a stick figure to um, show the different points of the joints where you'd want it to move you can do this with any uh, drawn object and just play around with it so um, I added a joint just for the spine just so I can get some bend in the spine and it's not allowing me to grab that center joint and I got some really funky spinning action there so I'm just going to go ahead and undo that with control Z and just play around with it and grab the top section and go ahead and manipulate the head however you want um, as you notice I didn't that that portion of the bottom right of the head is actually becoming cleared out um, that's an issue with the binding I'll show you how to uh, use the bind tool and then that'll be next um, to insert a pose just right click on the timeline and insert pose and you can go ahead and if you want to manipulate the entire thing you just grab it from the main joint which everything is connected to so I've got the legs connected to the waist and then the upper body um, all connected to the spine so I got a little bit of movement here and it's really about it for the bone tool um, it will only bind to um, one object or line, so it's not the greatest if you're going to do some kind of cartoon. So what I did here, I grabbed the bind tool and I just grab, uh, there's these little blue squares, and you can select them, and whichever one you have selected will show you the yellow line where that bone is, and it'll show you what it's connected to, so the red one that red square is connected to the uh, lower arm bone that's connected to both so if I want to connect that to the, just the upper arm I just click and drag to the upper arm if I want it to go to the lower arm I just select it to the lower arm and you'll see that weird deformation this is something you'd want to do before you start animating um, if you have to do it in the middle of it uh, you'll probably get some weird things happening like that so I'll just draw another one quickly. I'll show you how to bind. Um, there's not much to it. So 
So, you can go ahead and grab the joint, the bone tool. So I'm going from the waist to the knee to the ankle to the foot. Again, all you do is just click and drag from that joint. This joint, for some reason, doesn't want to work, and I have no idea why. Uh, the bone tool, if you recognize that blue square around my object, that means it should be able to tell uh, what the bone tool can connect to, but in this instance, it's just not working. So, I got one going from the head, and I'm just doing this quickly. I try that again, and it's just not allowing a bone. And again, you just click with the bone tool selected. You click on the joint where you want to uh, drag from, and then it should just drag out just fine. But this, I would have to probably redraw this uh, leg to make sure to get it to work right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get to the bind tool and just show you how to manipulate it. So these squares are connected to the upper leg. Same with that one. Those are connected to the lower leg. That one is connected to the bone. If you select the bone, it'll highlight everything that's connected to um, all the binds that are connected to that joint or bone. So I got that elbow joint that connects to both of them. For the most part, it does a pretty good job. You'd probably have to go in there. So I got a little t off to the right. Some of those are connected to both. Um, maybe you don't want that because I was having that problem with the, the head manipulating there where it would just become blank and there would be no line there anymore. I'll go ahead and insert a pose. Play with the arm, just get it to move a little bit. And I just use my arrow tool and select on the joint that I want to rotate. And you can see the separation on the that leg there. Uh, it's because it wouldn't let me use the bone tool and it wouldn't bind to it. Uh, don't know why. It could be because maybe there was a slight disconnection that I didn't notice when drawing it. But you get this little movement here. And in order to get the bone tool and bind tool to uh, get it to deform how you want it to, uh, it's just going to take uh, some playing around with. So I'm just grabbing some joints and just manipulating to other some binds to other things and you'll see that the weird deformation that occurs so it's something you have to play with to get it right uh, yeah uh, just takes some work to get it to look good but that's about it